Hi, it's Carrie. In this 5-Minute Friday, I want to give you a quick overview of the database called CINAHL, Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. It's a great resource for nurses and for anybody in allied health professions, rehab, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech-language pathology, and more. We have access to it at the Cook Library. You'll need to check with your institution to see if you have access and I'll get to it through the databases button here. There's a couple different versions of CINAHL. We have CINAHL Plus with full text. Here we are on the CINAHL platform, and you'll notice if you've used any EBSCO databases before that it looks very familiar. So some other EBSCO host databases are Academic Search Premier or Academic Search Ultimate, Business Source Complete, Psych Info, even Medline is available on the EBSCO platform. We'll see up here that we know we're searching CINAHL Plus with full text. Here are the fields where we can enter our search terms. Now you'll notice that you can select a field and restrict it to things like the title, abstract, author, CINAHL subject heading, journal title, and more. If you look at CINAHL help, frequently asked questions, it'll tell you what the default fields are in the CINAHL database if you're not going to select a field. So you're searching the title, abstract, subject headings, PubMed ID, DOI, and author. So I frequently do search with no field selected. Some other things you'll want to take note of are search modes. I usually select Boolean, phrase, and apply equivalent subjects. I like to turn that off. It makes your search more sensitive. I'm not sure it's very good. Now, you can make a lot of limits. Two things that CINAHL offers that are sort of unique to CINAHL are the option to find articles by a nurse. So first author is a nurse or any author is a nurse. Sometimes in nursing education programs, students are asked to find articles where an author is a nurse. And I haven't really used any of these other ones very often. So let's take a look. We'll do some different searches here to show you what's what's available. Let's start with a nursing search. So there's lots of good nursing literature in CINAHL and some unique to CINAHL that you would not find in PubMed or Medline. So I'll just look for moral distress or moral conflict. And we'll just type nurse. So all the same searching tips and tricks apply, phrases and quotes and you can truncate your search term to find variations on that ending. We'll leave it at select a field, the default, and click search. And we get 1,245 results. Now some of the things that you can do, especially if you're a student doing research, is limit to peer reviewed. So we might do that and that'll take out dissertations, theses, magazines, newspapers, and books. The other thing you can do is limit to year. Nurses often have a five year date range. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's very narrow, but you could limit it to more recent literature. And you might try language or age if you were doing something age-specific. This is not age-specific. You'll see the icons that show up with the record that show you this is from an academic journal. In most cases, you're going to see your institution's Find It button that looks like this, or a link to the PDF. We'll click on that one, and here we see the PDF. We see options over here on the right. I like to email it to myself or my library user who I'm helping. You can also create a permalink because this link is specific to this session and we need a link that we can get back to this record with. So make sure you grab the permalink. You can export it if you're using a citation manager like Zotero, EndNote, RefWorks. You can also cite. These are getting better and better. So mostly we're using APA style and it has the proxy link here, so you'd need to fix that. But this is a good example because there are a couple things wrong with this citation. I can tell just from looking at it, but they're getting better. Let's go back. They're sorted by relevance, so they'll get less relevant as you go down the page. I think we have 20 per page, and that depends on your institution. Oh, sorry, 30 per page, and you just page through to the next page. Now, let's clear our search. And let's try something different. We'll do um, one of my favorites, critical care or critical illness. Uh, mobility, early. Return. And 
we can do a field now. So let's do, uh, maybe let's do title. Not systematic, but to help you to get to the literature that you want to see, we'll click search. And that really narrowed it down. We can, we can work with this, so you might say abstract. And you can look through the results again. Your filters are going to stay there for the most part. You can add different filters this time around. One more thing you can do is once you start to learn these fields, these two capital letters at the beginning of each field, you can use them freely. So let's clear. Let's look for subject, cystic fibrosis, and uh, journal, which was <laughs> uh, SO. So chest. I just put quotes around my words just by default, and it's up to you. All right, we'll click search. So we are looking for the subject, cystic fibrosis, in the journal called chest, and that's what we got. Now, as you've searched, and I've searched here for a couple of different things, you can always go back to your search history, and you can combine searches. You can save these searches if you sign in with a free account. If you click on print search history, you'll get a record of your searches, which I think can be useful. And that's what I have to tell you about CINAHL today. I hope this helps you with nursing and allied health literature searches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.